Where was I when this nation began? People lived in their fields, prayed to their God, gave their hands, their feet, and then their blood. For this nation that I call precious, my darling America, I was there as they stood as families together watching loved ones die I was there hear the notes of the violin for they played and brought sounds from nations in Europe Britain and then created their own sound America you have imitated nobody for I created you unique where were they when men stood together and signed the Declaration of Independence? Where were they when they said, under God, one God, I was there, says the Lord. And today, there is still a remnant that will not bow to the naturalists, to the secular humanists, to the atheists. No, it is not time for the destruction of this nation. There will come a time where the wrath of God shall be poured out upon the nations of the earth. But today, I will bring recovery and restoration. And once again, America will sing my songs and pray my prayers and declare, under God we stand, says the Lord. Do not be afraid of North Korea. Do not be afraid of Iran. Do not be afraid of the nations. For in 2016, everything will change, says the Lord. There will be a sound of liberty from the White House. There will be a sound of prayers from the White House. Pennsylvania Avenue shall be surrounded by people that will pray and ask me to intervene. And I shall, says the Lord. So what is the foreboding sound? It is the sound of the enemies of America living in America. Those are your greatest enemies who call themselves citizens. Ah, uh, please. Who call themselves citizens, but they are enemies of the cross and enemies of the nation, and they shall be dealt with. You want judgment, says the Lord? Watch. Watch the atheists, watch. You want judgment? Then watch those that have risen up against me and said, perhaps we shall embrace Ba'Allah. Perhaps we shall embrace that religion. Maybe we shall embrace Sharia law. Ha! I laugh at you because the spirit of Elijah is in this nation and Jezebel shall not stand, says the Lord. For there shall be a combination of the sound of Israel and the sound of the United States of America. A new sound. And I will take the Spanish music and I will take the Latin and I will put it together and a unique generation will begin to rap and begin to sing with a combination of the sound of Israel and the sound of America and the sound of Central America and the sound of South America. Says the Lord! Says the Lord! 
today as you have spoken to us, Lord. היום שדיברת אל כולנו about Israel, על ישראל and America. ואמריקה We take your words into our heart. אנחנו לוקחים את המילים שלך לתוך ליבנו. We shall not fear. לא נפחד. The words of men. העולם היה. The swords of men. החרב הייתה. Flesh and blood shall not reign. לא יהיה גשם של דם. But one only shall reign. רק אחד ישלוט. The Lord God of Israel Adonai Eloi Israel Adonai Eloi Israel Adonai Eloi Israel The Lord God of Israel is a jealous God who El Tzadik I am the Lord your God Ani Adonai Eloi I am a jealous God Ani Adonai Akanai Lecha I will not allow Lo Arshe the idols et ha psilim of Baala shel Baal the idols את הפסילים of the Middle East של המזרח התיכון I shall not allow לא ארשה these idols to be worshipped את האלילים האלה להיות this תעודים this is a time for sobriety to be זה sober זה הזמן לפיכחון why? למה? because men have been blinded כי האדם היה עיוור there has been poverty היה עוני religious poverty עוני, עוני דתי and yet there is a sound ועדיין יש קול. We pray, Lord, אנחנו מתפללים אליך. As you came to this nation, איך שהגעת למדינה הזאת, centuries ago, מאות שנים אחורה. Give us one more chance. תן לנו עוד הזדמנות אחת. Have mercy upon us. רחם עלינו. Have mercy upon us. רחם עלינו. Give us one more chance. תן לנו עוד צ'אנס אחד. And we will arise. ואנחנו נקום. And we pray this in the name of the Lord God of Israel. Yeshua! 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 So what you just watched was Kim Clement's last prophecy over America in 2015. I always love watching his videos because they're always so powerful and straight from the heart of God, which is why you see me post a lot of his videos on here. But I wanted to post this video on here this week to encourage people in America and maybe people in other nations praying for America that the best is yet to come. Some people may look in America and say, ah, oh, it's too late for them. They've had their time to shine. Now it's all downhill from here. They've officially passed the point of no return. But in this specific prophecy, the Lord specifically said that Pennsylvania Avenue would be surrounded by people who would pray that I would intervene and I shall, says the Lord. Fast forward five years later and Pennsylvania Avenue was literally surrounded by tens of thousands of people that were praying for God's intervention. So God said that was going to happen and it did happen. So don't lose faith that the other things that God said was going to happen will happen. God will do what he said he would do. God has heard our prayers and he will intervene in a supernatural way for the sake of this nation and for all the nations of the world. There are still so many things that God wants to do in this nation and all over the world. And I believe we are entering into that season. Habakkuk 2.3 says for still the vision awaits its appointed time. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. In Luke 18.27 says, what is impossible with men is possible with God. Stay encouraged and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for entering into Skill Sanctum.